This is dubbed the PlayStation phone. I'll show you why in a moment. But it is indeed the first PlayStation certified device. So very cool stuff, uh, which we'll get to in a moment. But it really is designed for gamers. But at first glance, it'll look like any other 4-inch uh, touchscreen Android device. It does run on Google's mobile operating system. So you have access to uh, more than 200,000 apps from uh, the Android market. You can... Um, customize the phone in many different ways. You've got one-touch access to Google apps such as Gmail and Search and Maps and everything else that Android brings to the table as an open operating system that is uh, very customizable. Uh, Sony Ericsson has some of its own software on there as well, such as the ability to con consolidate your social media contacts in one place. But if you're going to buy this device, it's really uh, meant for gamers. That's who they're going after. So you'll notice that it is thicker than most um, smartphones and heavier as well, but there's uh, a reason for that. Check it out. So you flip that down and you now have a gaming device that feels very comfortable, not unlike a PSP. Um, a little bit different, but it's got uh, you know a lot of game support. There's six titles preloaded. I'm going to show you Asphalt 6 in a moment, but there's six titles preloaded depending on your carrier. Uh, in Canada, it's Rogers. In the US, it's Verizon Wireless, but it's going to be uh, a little bit different depending on uh, where you are in the world. And at launch, 60 different titles the first week, says Sony Ericsson, which is very ambitious. Uh, but let's take a look at the control as you can see, there are familiar D-pad here. It's got uh, familiar face buttons for those who play PlayStation games like X and, and O and uh, Square and Triangle. Then there's these in the middle, which are uh, analog sticks. They are touch-sensitive virtual analog sticks, so you can, depending on the game, control the action with your thumbs there. And then finally, there are shoulder buttons or triggers on the back. Again, it depends on the game, uh, but that's basically it. So along with the uh, 1 gigahertz processor, it does have a lot of graphics performance. Uh, it's got a beefy uh, GPU here, so it can render 3D games pretty smoothly. I've noticed a few sort of performance hiccups, but um, as you can see, this is uh, asphalt, so you can control the action either with the uh, analog stick or uh, with the uh, D-pad. I'm trying to do this backwards, so forgive my uh, driving here. And then you, um, you know, so you can steer with the D-pad or the analog sticks, change camera angles, you do the uh, nitro boost, and uh, you know, it really is a good-looking game. So this is an example of uh, one of the 3D games that you get with it. And I don't mean 3D as in stereoscopic 3D where you need glasses or anything, but um, high-performance console-like graphics in a handheld, which is really what the Xperia Play is all about. And I did mention about 60 titles off the top. So it's a slider phone that you uh, really are going to you know, take advantage of the uh, gaming capabilities. It also has, um, let me just turn that off, it also has uh, a camera on the back, so it's got a 5 megapixel camera here, um, so you can uh, snap photos. You can shoot video, but it's not HD. So be aware of that compared to the Xperia Arc, which has an 8 megapixel uh, camera and uh, the ability to shoot HD. So this is not for those who want to make little movies. Um, it does shoot uh, VGA quality video and takes pictures. So again, you're, there is a couple of trade-offs. It is heavier. It is uh, bulkier. Um, and uh, you know it is a little bit thicker because you are going to be um, using this as a gaming device. As a instead of bringing along a PSP and a smartphone, you're, uh, they, they, they want to give you the best of both worlds by giving you an Android phone. And of course, it plays all those Android games as well as dedicated games that you can download digitally. Um, finally, there's expandable memory, uh, micro SD, uh, as well as you know Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, everything you'd expect in a smartphone. No price has been uh, confirmed at the time of recording this. But uh, it should be out uh, in later.